Hello, I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and we're here at ostrichflash.wordpress.com. We're going to talk about the code that allows us to capture motion from a webcam and put a cursor at that motion. We've already introduced that, um, showing examples working, and that's available at the videos link here at ostrichflash.wordpress.com, so you might want to check that out. Now we're going to take a look at the code in the zip file. Here's what we get in the zip. Um, we get the com folder, and the com is where all those classes are, the ostrich classes. And the samples, that's where the samples that use the classes are. Now you'll have to put the com folder in the right place. Uh, what that means is make a classes folder anywhere you want. And um, in Flash, specify that classes folder as being in your class path. Then take this com folder and drop it into that classes folder. The com folder has a Danzen package, an interfaces package, and an ostrich package, which holds those ostrich uh, things that we're looking at. All right, uh, well, we don't need all those open. Back to the samples then. Uh, there are the FLAs, and in the samples package are the, the various document classes for those examples. Let's take a look at those in Flash now. All right, here's the sample cursor, and we'll just run that. Bloop. That cursor follows motion. Ah. And let's see how we did that. We import com.danzen.interfaces.ostrich, so that's the package. And in doing so, in this manner, um, this is the technique that we make sure that our classes are unique amongst all of the developers of Flash classes. It's a reverse domain technique. And then I have an interfaces package, which has other things like uh, my multi-touch and, and those kinds of things are also in an interfaces package. And that way, any of the Flash feathers that you download will work out fine. So we import the ostrich package. We're going to have a, an ostrich camera and an ostrich cursor. And here we are making them. My camera equals a new ostrich camera. We add that. And my cursor equals a new ostrich cursor. We specify which camera it's using. And we add that. And then we can see that cursor running around. So that's it to get a cursor following the motion. But you'll probably want to put your own um, movie clip or sprite on that. And in this fairy example, we put uh, this fairy right here, make it follow the cursor. So let's see how that would look. We import our ostrich package. We make a new camera and drop its opacity. Um, the camera would go on top of the fairy, so we've just made sure that the fairy goes on top of the camera. And then we made a new cursor. This time we haven't added the cursor. Instead, we've made an enter frame event. And in that enter frame event, we set the X position of the fairy to the cursor's X position and the Y position of the fairy to the cursor's Y position. Uh, this code right here just um, flips the, the fairy so that it's facing the, motion, uh, the, the direction that it's going. Alright, let's see how we did uh, several cursors uh, like the Pong game. So here we have uh, one p a paddle and another paddle. And in sample cursors, we import our ostrich class, or package. And we're going to have one camera and two cursors this time. So we make our camera, we drop its opacity, we add it, and then we put the camera at the back so the paddles will come up top. And then we make a left cursor. This time we specify uh, a region, 0 on the left, 0 on the top, 100 on the right, and 480 on the bottom. So that's the left-hand paddle. This cursor will only capture motion in that left-hand region. Its sensitivity is 2. The sensitivity means it will capture two rounds of motion and average them 
and then move the cursor to that average. If the sensitivity is 4, which is the default, it captures 4 rounds of motion and averages them. If it's 10, then it's much slower. It averages over 10 captures and slowly moves the cursor to different places. So the, if this is 1, then it only it moves the cursor every time it captures motion. And that's really darty. It darts to this motion, darts to that motion. Whereas a 4 is sort of a good average. It's not too slow, but it, it doesn't dart back and forth for any little motion that it sees. All right, and we make a, a right-hand cursor, and this has a, a region that's over on the right-hand side of the screen. We add an event listener, and we make sure that the paddle on the left follows the cursor on the left, its Y position, and the paddle on the right's Y position follows the cursor on the Y's position. Cursor right's Y position. Okay, uh, buttons, sample button FLA. Buttons have a lot of code in here, but it's um, it's mainly just working with events. So we import our um, our ostrich package. We're going to make a camera, a cursor, and a button. We'll also make a ball follow, and uh, we'll create a button uh, that is a real physical button. So we make our camera. We make our cursor. Uh, in this case, we've provided motion start and motion stop events on our cursor just so that you know that we've got those events and I'll come to back, back to those events uh, in just a minute. Here's a button. Now this could be a button that's just on the stage. We've made it with code but it could be a button that's on the stage for instance and all we're really going to use that button for is when we create our, our, cur or sorry, our button, ostrich button there, we pass it which cursor will trigger it and we pass it the sort of physical real button. All that does is takes the X and Y position of that button and its width and height, and then it, it, it acts in that region. So um, this ostrich motion over, ostrich button motion over, will um, track motion over the region of that button. It really doesn't use the button in any way. If you want the button to highlight, then you have to do that yourself you know, on this on over and on out, and a motion hold, because the button won't have a click. You can only wave your hand over it. There's no way to click, so you have to hold. Now, when you make your button, you can also pass how long you want that hold to be. Uh, by default, it's three seconds. So if you want it less, like two seconds, so that they only have to hold two seconds before it activates, then you just put comma two there, I believe, if I remember correctly. You can, of course, look at the classes, the ostrich button class um, in that com folder, etc. And it has all the instructions, all the properties, methods, events that you can apply and, and get from, from that class. There's our ball. No need to really look at that. We've got um, our cursors happening. Uh, here's the trace saying that the camera's ready from a camera ready event, uh, the start and stop from the cursor, the on over on out and on hold. And what we do in each of those is we just change the alpha uh, to a higher alpha when we roll over it, uh, back to the normal alpha when we're off it, and then when we hold on it, point two. So let's take a look at that. So uh, there's the, um, the workings. Now if you see when I'm talking and other motions going on it's kinda hard sometimes to get that thing to to go over if there's other motion going on so what you can do is set a region of your cursor to be only captured or to only capture this location then when you sweep over it like that if you do the motion start and motion stop it picks it up immediately so that would that would trigger it just by going like that so that's what you want for sensitive regions, say like a bunch of musical notes and you're trying to roll over the notes. You just put a cursor on each note and capture the motion start and motion stop events. All right, let's take a look at the uh, sample blob one here. And um, that's uh, all it is, is it just uses the ostrich blobs. You um, make a new ostrich blobs and we haven't added it to the stage that will add a bunch of circles to the stage but then the rest is we're just putting an animation to uh, the location of each of those blobs so you can uh, look through that 
I'm inventor Dan Zen. This has been a look through the code at Ostrich Flash, ostrichflash.wordpress.com. You can get the zip here if you use it. Uh, help yourself to uh, donate. That'd be great. And provide your link uh, would be super. Hope you enjoy. Uh, all the best.